Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building an infinity cube with NeoPixels. The frame is 3D printed and the acrylic panels are coated with see-through mirror film. With mirrored acrylic, this creates a really neat effect that's borderline magic. LED strips inside the frame light up making the acrylic appear transparent. The panels reflect the light inside the cube, creating a really cool tunnel effect. We set this up with Bluetooth so we could trigger different LED animations. The code for this project is written in CircuitPython and uses the itsy bitsy NRF52840. This uses the LED animation library which makes creating sequences much easier. There's lots of options for customization so you can change colors and speed. You can install CircuitPython on a lot of different boards from Adafruit and the community. Check out the beta releases and download the latest firmware from the website. You can double press the reset button to get your board into bootloader mode. The board shows up like a USB drive, so you can just drag and drop a UF2 file. It automatically installs the firmware, so it's really easy to upgrade to future releases. With CircuitPython, the libraries and code live on the board, so it's way more accessible. We think this makes maintaining code much better, and it's just awesome for beginners. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The CAD files are available to download and the parts are designed for support-free 3D printing. We designed the cube as a parametric model so it was easy to change the dimensions. We split the cube in half so there aren't any overhangs which makes printing much easier. The case houses the itsy bitsy and it snap fits together so there's no need for any screws. The bottom half press fits onto the frame so it lines up nicely. We'll start by cutting a mini skinny NeoPixel strip. We needed to remove the sheathing so that we can wire it up and attach it to the frame. We're using a low density strip of NeoPixels and we're using silicone ribbon cable. This wire is great because it's flexible and bundled together so it'll stay nice and tidy. The wiring is threaded through a hole in the corner of the frame. The LED strip is fitted inside and bends at the corner so it's shaped within the cube. We can tack down the LED strip with a bit of hot glue. You can use a can of air to freeze dry the hot glue in place. A strip is laid out to cover most of the frame and then cut in half. Use more hot glue to keep the strips flat and straight inside the cube. You can use flush cutters to trim away any excess glue. To fill up the last three sections of the frame, we'll connect three strips to the pads on the back of the first strip. This last bit of LED strip covers the frame and it's hot glued in place. All six sides of the cube should have a strip run along the inside of the frame. Once that's done, we can then wire up the strip to the itsy bitsy board. You want to test out the LED strip before attaching the acrylic panels. So thoroughly inspect the wiring and make sure there aren't any shorts. Next, we'll work on cutting up the acrylic panels. This sheet of acrylic is already coated with a mirror finish, which makes the assembly easier. It's only a millimeter thick, so it's easy to score with a scoring tool or a hobby knife. We printed out a little paper template and traced it out with a Sharpie. We used a T-square ruler to help us make straight cuts. You'll want to be super careful here. It only needs a few passes to score deep enough so you can snap the pieces apart. You really want to take your time cutting these out. Ideally, we want to laser cut these, but it's not too bad doing it by hand. This has protective layers on both sides so it doesn't get scuffed up while cutting. Be sure to cut both sides of the protective layering so the acrylic doesn't get scuffed up. Two of the six panels are cut slightly shorter to accommodate for the top and bottom of the cube. You'll want to test fit these out before gluing them in place. Once all the pieces have been test fitted, you can then start to remove the protective layers. You want to test both sides of the acrylic with the LEDs on. Since the acrylic is slightly warped, you'll get different reflections. We found the effect works best when the acrylic is facing inwards so it's concave. The effect doesn't look so good when the acrylic is bulging outwards. So be sure to check all of the panels. We use dabs of hot glue to tack the acrylic panels to the frame. You want to be really careful not to use too much here.
Once all six panels have been hot glued in place, we can then fit the board into the case. The cover has an opening so the cable can slip through. Add a bit of hot glue to the corner and stick the cover right on top. The itsy bitsy board snap fits into the case and these tabs will keep it secured. The case itself can then be snap fitted onto the cover. This should keep the cube nice and sturdy at this angle. You can power it off a USB wall adapter or a computer's USB hub. And there you have it, that's how we built our Infinity Cube. We want to give a big shout out to Thomas J152 for sharing his build on Instructables. Check it out, links are in the description. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.